Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Monica, your dance teacher. Today guys, we're talking about a fear of mine being in front of the camera. No, we're talking about a fear that a lot of people have. Fear of dancing in public. A lot of my students that are beginner, they're absolute beginners, they've never danced and they have this fear of being on the dance floor. Not even dancing on the dance floor, being on the dance floor in public where everybody around them is dancing and they don't know what to do. If you want to hear some tips on how to overcome this fear of being on the dance floor, please keep on watching. So first of all, don't put it off. Maybe you already are doing something to get better at dancing, to learn dancing. Maybe you're taking dance classes, group classes, private classes, whatnot. Maybe you're learning from YouTube um, and you're telling yourself, okay, when I'm ready, I'm going to go to the club and actually do the moves. Keep in mind that that fear, that's mental. It has not much to do with your skill level. How to put it nicely. Even after 20, 30, 40 classes, it will still be there. Fear is a mental block. That's stopping you from dancing, not the lack of skills necessarily. Of course, don't get me wrong, it's very useful if you have basics down, if you have a little bit of rhythm, um, if you are coordinated, basic coordination works. Um, if you have a few steps, you can start off with, yes. But you can learn this in one or two classes. Don't wait for months before you step onto the dance floor and actually do those moves. The fear it will still be there, so you might as well start, you know, overcome this soon. Class is a different setting. Yes, you're dancing if it's a group class among other people, but it's not like all eyes are on you. You know, it's it's a different environment. You see yourself in the mirror. You can, you, you have a teacher guiding you, this and that. Private class, totally different. You're there alone with the teacher, and it is a more comfortable setting. You're with a specialist guiding you through the movements or a lot of times which is something that i don't like to do you just follow the teacher you just copy their moves class is not focused on you being able to dance on your own right so it's totally different environment um it's like with swimming you learn how to swim i think when i learned how to swim i actually they showed me some movements like on the floor that might not have been a great class. Once you realize you have that fear, once you realize that that is making you uncomfortable, just take some steps to try and overcome this. And I'll show you what you can do. First, answer this question. Are you intimidated dancing in front of your friends or are they making you feel more comfortable because they're there with you? We're talking about the actual dance floor, not the club itself, not the bar. Hopefully you'll be relaxed at the bar. I know I would. <laughs> so surprise, surprise, a lot of my um, students, they say that when they go out with their friends, they feel intimidated. Because a lot of times their friends are better dancers than them. So they feel all that pressure to show off their skills in front of their friends. If that's you, then here's the solution. You go to the club where you don't know anyone, Nobody knows you, maybe with a new friend, or maybe with a friend that you have that is worse dancer than you are, or maybe as bad as you are, that's not nice. You're going to be their guide, you're going to make them feel better on the dance floor, you're going to encourage them to dance, even though you're not comfortable, but they don't have to know that. If you dance not so great, right? Who cares? When you leave the club, that's it, you'll never see those people again. Don't, don't forget your friend you came with, unless you know he's not the, he, he's... Now this is the most important thing that you want to do. Aim for blending in. Do what the majority of people are doing. Seriously, you cannot go wrong with that. I noticed three basic types of people to follow on the dance floor. One, head buffers. I'm sure you've seen people standing usually on the edge of the dance floor, close to the, the, the actual, where the action is, and just bopping their heads and, you know, like dancing, but not dancing really, just moving a little bit. You can be that person. So guess what? You're moving to the music. 
you're dancing. Yes, very, you know, basic, very simplified type of dancing. You're just moving your head. Maybe the foot tap with it as well, you know. This is our goal. We just have to start you off on the dance floor. We'll grow from there, but you just need to start somewhere. Second type of people to follow. Two steppers. Two step. Come on. There's always somebody on the dance floor doing the good old two step. Follow along. The easiest way to blend it, the simplest step, but it always works. It pretty much works to any song. At least that one step, at least two step you have to know. So this will be a good start. And the last type of people to follow, my favorite type, the enjoyers. Kiki, do you love me? They are not even dancing. They're just showing their love to the song the DJ is playing. How to spot them? That's very easy. They're singing usually at the top of their lungs. They have their hands in the air, waving, doing all kinds of moves. Um, they're very energetic and usually you won't see them dance much. Which means easy for you to follow, right? You can jump and wave the arms. It doesn't even have to be on beat. Half the time it's not. To sum up, if dancing in public in the club scares the crap out of you, it will trick your mind a little bit. Don't think of what you're going to be doing on the dance floor as dancing. Start off with vibing. Vibing is not scary, right? Go to the club with a goal of just vibing with other people. You're not going there to show off your moves, which you don't have yet. It's okay. Start with vibing and you're going to grow from there. The vibing part will just help you with um, overcoming that fear of stepping onto the dance floor and not looking like an outsider. When you're just showing that you're enjoying yourself on the dance floor, that will make you feel more comfortable. And from there, you'll add the dance skills, you'll add the steps, you'll add the fancy moves, you'll go to your next goal. But start small. Thank you so much for dealing with me today and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.